Uh, greetings and praise the Lord. Welcome to our fourth episode on standing on his on the promises of God. And our fourth episode is actually on peace, uh, be at peace with him. Uh, because if you want the promises, uh, that you want to know his promises and even stand on these promises, then what you need to do is to stand, is to be at peace with God so that he'll be able to allow you to get to enjoy the fulfillment of these promises as you stand on these promises. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 9 to 14, um, before I read, let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we bow before you to honor you, to give you praise, and to exalt your holy and wonderful, precious name. We honor you, Lord, and even as we continue to look unto you, you who is our Lord and our King, that my Father, you continue leading us and guiding us. We depend on you and trust wholly and entirely on you, our God, as we believe that King of glory, you that has called us is able to see us through and even to accomplish that thing, that which you have called us for. We honor you, Lord, and even as we submit unto you and your word, that you continue leading us because, Father, we cannot do anything without you. We are praying for those who have not made, uh, uh, committed their lives unto you for that, Lord, they'll find it, King of glory, that the right thing for them to do today is to open their hearts to receive our Lord Jesus Christ, to become their Lord and Savior so that their sins will be forgiven as they are cleansed with his blood. We thank you, Lord, and give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, in Second Peter chapter 3, verses 9 to 14, from the Amplified Bible, the Bible says, The Lord does not delay as though he were unable to act, and is not slow about his promise, as some count slowness, but is extraordinarily patient toward you, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. So when you are waiting for the promises of God, don't be impatient. Don't think that the Lord is slow. Our God is able to do mighty things because we are told he's not slow. Don't call him slow in answering your prayers because he is he is extraordinarily patient he is patient with us he is allowing us in that time of being patient with us to tell the truth he is waiting for us to come back to where we should be for us to stop arguments for us to start stop pretense and hypocrisy he is patient with us for us to be truthful in everything we do. So that is why he has not fulfilled some of those promises he has promised you. He's been looking and waiting to see you come to where he is so that you can be at the same level, reason together, so that you can walk together in this journey of the fulfilled promises. And then because he also explaining to us and telling us, but the day of the Lord, will come like a thief and then the heaven will vanish with a mighty and thunderous roar and the material elements will be destroyed with intense heat and the earth and the wax that are on it will be burnt up. So the Lord, the day he's coming, because he's telling us he's, he's telling us he's coming soon. He can come any moment even now as you're listening to this message. Our God can come. What he's waiting for us to do is to repent. And he know he's given us enough time to repent of our sins and ask him to forgive us and write our names in the book of life. And if you have not repented, I'm asking you to repent so that when he comes, he finds you ready to go with him. If you have been misleading and misguiding others, can you repent and ask for guidance from the Lord as to how you need to carry yourself in the midst of other people? Because the, everything that is material is going to be burnt. Whatever you're doing, is it material or is it, are you being led by the, 
the power of God. If you are led and directed by God, the one, the one we trust, then you know what? When everything is being burnt, even in our lives, what needs to be burnt, let it be burnt so that we, the ones that need to remain so that they can accomplish the purposes of God by walking in, his, in holiness, they can accomplish those purposes. And uh, he continues to tell us, since all these things are to be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you to be in the meantime? in holy behavior that is in a pattern of daily life that sets you apart as a believer and in godliness displaying profound reverence toward our awesome god so those that's what you need to do when these things have been destroyed in our lives then we are supposed to be in a holy behavior a pattern of life that sets us apart as believers. So can we allow the Lord to set us apart? Can we walk in this pattern of daily life so that we can exalt our God by being in godliness? That is, we display the rever a profound reverence toward our awesome God. Then in verse 12, it says, while well, you honestly look for and await the coming of the day of God, uh, for on this day the heavens will be destroyed by burning and the material elements will mel melt with intense heat. But in accordance with his promise, we expectantly await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwell. So as everything in us is being burnt, all the material things that are being burnt, you have seen it happening in many nations. There are things that are not supposed to stand, things that have annoyed our God, things have been, that have been done so that they can please men and not God. They are getting out of the way. And as our God is preparing us, as our God has been patient, even in dealing with us, then as everything is being burnt with even intense heat, uh, but it is accordance with his promise. So we are supposed to be waiting expectantly for the new heavens and new earth in which righteousness dwells where righteousness dwells is where we are supposed to be focused on is what we are supposed to be looking unto is what we are supposed to be uh, guided to if you are being led are you being guided and led into righteousness are you going where righteousness dwells if you have not been walking in the path of righteousness then it is a high time you abandon the path that you're in and you walk in this path so that only god you are pleasing in your life in whatever you do in verse 14 says so beloved since you are looking forward to these things be diligent and make every effort to be found by him at his return spotless and blameless in peace that is inwardly calm with a sense of spiritual well-being and confidence having lived a life of obedience to him so that is what we need to do one thing we need to do is to walk in uh, we need to make sure we are spotless and blameless and in peace you know we are supposed to be in peace and we are supposed to be living a life of obedience to him so let us be in peace at peace with him let us be at peace with him and on, we are only at peace with him if we are going to walk in the promises and even in where the righteousness dwells by us walking in a spotless and blameless manner so that our peace which is uh, which is our inwardly calm which is uh, that is inwardly calm with a sense of spiritual well-being and confidence is is that is what we should be living for that is what we should be and then we are supposed to make sure that in everything we are doing we are being obedient to our god who is our promise keeper and who is going to make sure that that which he's giving unto us is not being delayed 
because we have been obedient and we have desired to have a spotless life, to have a blameless life. And God, our God is going to be glorified as we continue having peace with him in the, uh, being obedient to him. May the Lord bless you as you purpose to serve the King of Kings and as you choose to be at peace with him and you stand on his promises. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Kariuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries. This is Mother to the amazing champions and mother to the CMCs around the globe. I welcome you to partner with us at www.agraceelma.org. Follow us on Karaoke Bishop Dr. Grace, that is our Facebook, and at Bishop Dr. Grace Karaoke, that is our YouTube. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, share, and God is going to bless you. For now, I look forward to hear those comments on how you are enjoying the peace of God. And as you are enjoying seeing the fulfillment of every promise that God has promised you. Be blessed for now. Shalom, shalom, shalom.